Hi everyone, Mike here from Watch It Paint It, and in this video I'm going to be painting the new Demon Prince from Warhammer 40k. And thank you very much to Games Workshop for sending this along so we could paint it up. I'm starting off with a black primer because this model is going to have a lot of dark colors and metallics, and those always look best over black. I'm going to begin painting the skin of the prince using a dark burgundy color. I'm using a fat dry brush for this, and I'm doing a heavy dry brush. So I'm wiping off the big gobs of paint, but clearly I should have wiped off a little bit more before I smudged this all over his face. I'm not trying to be neat here, speed is the name of the game. I'm just getting a base coat down on all parts of the skin. I'm not trying to get every little nook and cranny and sliver of skin. The deep, impossible to reach recesses can stay black and that's going to look just fine. I'm also using this color for the phalanges on the wings. Again, just dry brushing it and not worrying at all about making a mess on the wings. Next I'm going to do a highlight color on all of the areas that I just painted burgundy. I'll be using Screamer Pink and a smaller dry brush this time. I'm going to use a much lighter and neater method. I'm trying to move the brush perpendicular to the surfaces that I just painted to pick up the edges. For the flatter surfaces, like the legs and the shoulders, I'm still dry brushing, but I'm focusing on the center of those areas and leaving the outer edges the darker burgundy color. Now I want to get another really messy step out of the way, the skulls. These are also going to be dry brushed, and I like to base coat my skulls using a heavy dry brush of Death World Forest. I'm going to follow that up with a lighter dry brush of World War II Beige from Vallejo. And this time I'm only making downward strokes and trying to make the skulls brighter on top. The last part for the skulls is to do a super light dry brush with an off-white. And this time I'm going for the facial features only, like the teeth and the eye sockets. Now for the wings. I envisioned a black winged monster when coming up with these colors, and my favorite quote unquote black is German Grey. It's super dark, but not so dark that you can't shade it down a bit. It's also very matte, which is nice. I'm painting all of the webbing with the German Grey. Just one layer should be enough to cover up the mess made by the dry brushing. Next I'm going to add the metallic colors, starting with Balthazar Gold. I'm using this for all of the decorative elements of the armor. I'm using cheap synthetic brushes for this part because metallic paints are damaging to the bristles of your brush. Also Chaos units are covered in spikes and ridges which also wreaks havoc on the tip of your brush. So stick to cheap brushes for this. Now mixing together half and half, silver and black for all of the armor plates. I want a color that isn't overly shiny or bright. That just didn't seem fitting for a demon. I'm also using this metal color on the claws and the sword blade, though I'm leaving the center of the blade black for now. Next I'm going to base coat the hair and the beard using Doombull Brown. Again, I'm using a cheap brush because I want to work this paint into all of the nooks and crannies. This is also a good color for leather, so I'm going to use it on all the straps holding down the armor plates and holding the skulls. I'm going back to the same bright silver I used before, but this time I'm not mixing it with any black. I'm going to use this on all of the dangly things that are hanging off the demon. The chains, the rings, and any ornaments that haven't been painted with a bronze color yet. I'm also using this color on all of the exposed wires in the frayed cables. This demon had six different head options, and I went with the corn head. Not because I know anything about corn, but because, in my mind, that looked the coolest. So it didn't seem right to not use corn red on something. I'm going to use this color on all of the frayed cables that are poking out all over the place. 
I also used this on the grip of the sword, and then I took some of the corn red and mixed in a little bit of the German grey, and this created a very desaturated version of the corn red. I'm going to use this to base coat the loincloth. Immediately after that, I'm going to take some pure corn red that I've watered down, and I'm going to brush this onto all the raised parts of the loincloth to create a quick and easy highlight. Next I'm going to mix up a wash that I call machine wash, but really it's just a grimy dark wash that's made up of three parts null oil, two parts Agrax Earthshade, and one part Drakenhof Nightshade. I'm going to use this dirty wash over everything that's painted with a metallic color. I'm not going to use it on any other part of the model. This is going to dull down the shine of the metallics a bit, and it's also going to create a nice grimy look on the armor. Next I'm going to focus on the face a bit and finish off the hair and beard. I'm going to dry brush both the hair and beard with XV88 which is a light reddish brown. I'm just giving the tongue one coat of Bugman's Glow. For the teeth I'm using one color, ivory, and I never like to paint the tooth color all the way up to the gum line. I always want to have a little bit of that gum showing at the top of the teeth. And now for a short montage of the little details. Next I want to do a glowing effect on the runes of the sword and the armor. I'm starting off with a light dry brush of white scar over the runes of the sword and I'm also going to do the same thing to the armor on the right arm. I'm following that up with another light dry brush, this time with a dark orange. This one is called Wild Rider Red. And now for one last dry brush, this time with a bright orange. This one is Troll Slayer Orange. Now what I want to do is fill in all the runes with a bright white, and the easiest way to do that is to first brush the blade with a little bit of water, and then tap each of the runes with a brush full of white ink. The white ink is then going to settle into all of the runes and make them a nice bright white color. Now for the glowy bits, I like to use a mix of fluorescent yellow and fluorescent orange. I've mixed together a 3 to 1 mix of the yellow to orange, and then I'm loading my brush and swiping it across all of the runes to let that paint sink in. Make sure that your white ink has fully dried before you do this. I'm also going to dab some of this color onto the eyes of both the face and the armor. I've already gone ahead and painted the eyes white. I didn't do it on camera because it is really hard to do on camera. As a final touch for the wings, I'm dry brushing all of the ribs along the wings with Slanesh Grey mixed with a tiny bit of the German Grey just to darken it a bit. I'm also going to dry brush a bright silver onto the edge of the sword. Once that was done, that was all of my colors on, so I went ahead and sprayed the model with a matte varnish. I did notice though that the metallics weren't nearly as shiny anymore, so I mixed together a 50-50 mix of gloss varnish and water, and then I glazed that over the armor plates and all of the claws. And here is the finished Demon Prince. Overall, it took a few days to finish this guy, which for me was pretty quick, and that was mostly thanks to all the dry brushing. A special thanks to all of our patrons on Patreon. If you want to join our Discord community, look up Watch It Painted on Patreon, or check out the link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.